Welcome to day five of the journey. Today, I want to look at our New Testament scripture from Matthew chapter 5. Now, this is the beginning of the passage we often refer to as the Sermon on the Mount. And in Matthew chapters 5 through 7, Jesus is teaching his disciples on a variety of different topics, uh, beginning here with the Beatitudes or blessings from God, and then moving on to topics such as the law and anger. However, today, I want to focus on the verses 14 through 16, which say, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one wants to light a lamp and then put it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. I find the imagery that Jesus uses here fascinating as he relates us to a city sitting on top of a hill for all to see. And that's exactly how our lives are as believers. All eyes are on us and our relationship with Jesus. But rather than seeing this reality as us being exposed in a way that a city on top of a hill is exposed to those around them, we should view it as an opportunity to let our light shine to bring glory to God. When someone views our city, our life, they should be seeing the power of God in action. Not someone who's pretending to be perfect, but someone who is allowing the grace of God to redeem them and the word of God to refine them. The light of our life should be pointing people to Jesus, not ourselves, because the light we have doesn't belong to us. Without God, our city is dark and we have no hope. But with God, we are the light of the world, and our light can't be hidden. There's another scripture found in Proverbs 15, 28 that uses an illustration similar to the one Jesus uses here by relating our life to a city. It says, a person without self-control is like a city with broken walls. It's imperative that if we're going to be the light of the world that Jesus describes here in Matthew 5, that we live set apart with the self-control that only comes from an authentic, intimate relationship with our Heavenly Father. Like Jesus says in Matthew 5, 13, but what good is salt if it's lost its flavor? And I would add, what good is a city if it has broken walls and has lost its light? I want to encourage you today to pick up the challenge Jesus drops here and be the light of the world. Be the light in the midst of the darkness you see and face. Let's not conform to the world, but let's be a catalyst of change for the world so that as verse 16 says, everyone will praise your heavenly Father.